to do our Monarch Butterfly release on Friday, July 17, 2020. I'm so glad you're here. It's been a remarkable Monarch Butterfly season this year. We've had more Monarchs and more Caterpillars and more new releases than we've had in the last five years, all put together, at least in my garden. So I'm very excited to share. I have seven newly emerged or eclosed Monarch Butterflies to release, and they are ready to go. They're in my very large habitat, and then my, mount, my smaller round habitat. Two in here, five in here, and they're ready to go. They're in these habitats because I could put a, a milkweed plant in there. I had this in there. I had one of these in there. All these caterpillars ate them up. And then they came to the top and they made their chrysalises and there's still more to come out later in the week that it protects them from predators like lizards, uh, pachinid flies that lay their eggs in them and kill them, uh, wasps, all kinds of predators. And now I have several females and males in here ready to go and in here. These habitats are available on my website, so if you're interested, I'll put it in the comments. But they are the best way to raise these monarchs. I love it. I want you to know, I want you to see before we start, a little quick review for those of you who are new to butterflies and don't monarch butterflies. These butterflies have been through this entire life cycle. They were a little tiny egg on a milkweed leaf. Milkweed is their host plant. That's the only plant their caterpillars will eat the only plant they will lay their eggs on. And this is a native narrow leaf milkweed, and this is a tropical milkweed. They love to eat them both. This is probably the easiest, safest for them, because you don't, it dies down in November, you don't have to prune it and worry about a parasite called OE. That's not true with tropical. Read about it on my blog. I'll give you that web address when we're done. But they will lay their eggs on these wonderful, plants. They will hatch into being a caterpillar. Now that caterpillar is so tiny when it hatches, we have to use a magnifying glass to see it in our life. My husband and I. But they will grow. They will be a caterpillar for two weeks. And they'll grow 2,500 times bigger in two weeks. That's huge. They eat approximately 32 leaves. And they become about yay big. And they're funny. They eat ravenously, especially the last all oh, five days in the last two days. I mean, they're just like chainsaw eaters, eating away at these leaves. Then they will crawl off. They don't typically make their chrysalis on the milkweed because they don't want some other caterpillar to eat the leaf out from under them. So as you'll see here, they made their chrysalises. Here's one. There's one right there at the top of the habitat. They do that constantly. They always go to the top of the habitats, the little round one or the large one, to make their chrysalis. And this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful emerald green little shell, and they're in that for two weeks. Egg two to four days, caterpillar two weeks, in the end the chrysalis two weeks, and then they emerge, and technically it's called eclose, into this gorgeous monarch butterfly that we are going to release right now. <laughs> By the way, this narrow leaf California milkweed, native California milkweed, was in this habitat and completely eaten down to sticks two and a half weeks ago. And look at it. It is already becoming a beautiful, robust plant ready to be eaten by more caterpillars. So during this time of year, especially June through September, our milkweed comes back nice and fast. We get lots more caterpillars. Well, you're here to see monarchs be released, so let's do it. Let's start with the little cylinder first. I think you might be able to see these two butterflies here and here. They want out. Now, when I let them out, they're going to probably flit off very fast. So keep your eye on them, because here they come. I don't know if they're male or female until I get them out of the habitat and look when they open their wings. Okay, little one. There's a chrysalis that will come out in another couple days. It's already, when they're ready to come out, they turn black. You can see orange. He's already, it's turning from green to where you can see the butterfly inside. I want to be careful with that. 
Okay, this is a little tiny female. Look at her. Look at her. She was a little tiny one. I didn't know if she'd really make it. She has. She's absolutely adorable. I'm glad she doesn't have to migrate. Her little wings are kind of small. That might be hard for her to fly that far, so she will. Be fine, little one. Look at there it goes. There's the other one. So let's put her. Oh, there she goes. Carefully put this back so that the other chrysalis will be ready to come up right over your head. My husband's standing there. Oh, they're so sweet. They're so perfect and so beautiful. One more chrysalis to come out tomorrow. Now, the big event of the day. We're going to release Phi. Fantastic, gorgeous, perfect, awesome. But her flies, they don't know that they're about to be released. Come. Oh my gosh, can you come in here and see this? I'm going to bring this in so you can see it. Are you ready? Wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Stop, stop. Here they are. Look at them. They're going, Mama, let me out of here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I was wrong. There's six in here. Look at those beauties. Gorgeous, perfect monarch butterflies. Look at that beautiful creature. All right, let's bring it back so you can see them be released. Here we come. That's good. There's the habitat. And now they don't they don't come out on their own too quickly. They don't seem to want to come out all on their own. All right. Shall we? There are these beautiful monarch Oh, love them. Now remember it's gonna fly fast when he realizes it can. This is a little boy. Bye! Oh, this is a little girl. Come on, little girl. <laughs> what do we got next? You can tell because on the inside of the wings there are no dots. This is another little girl. She seems to be happy to be sitting on my finger for the moment. Let's put her on my shoulder. All right, this is a little male. There he goes. Bye, little male. Another male coming out. watching. I hope you enjoyed that. The video will be up on my blog later today. www.tinyurl.com slash all about monarchs. Thanks for being here. Plant your milkweed. Nectar plants. Attract some monarchs to your garden.